Hi right, guys, welcome back to Vigorant Stunt Garage. What we got going on today is man, the Grand Prix. Our 2000 model Grand Prix's got a bad crank sensor, I believe. That's the culprit. It uh, runs and then quits, and then it starts back up, and then it'll quit. And uh, My 97 red one did it. My 2001 Bonneville did the same thing. But this has got an added twist with it. Besides it running and quitting, man, it's got a dead miss. So I don't know if the crank sensor is going to cause a dead miss. Kind of hoping that's all it is. But might be wrong. It might need uh, just spark plugs or it may need an engine. Don't really know. But we went ahead and bought the crank sensor for it anyways. So we got it jacked up. We need to get a jack stand out here. We got the wheel off. We got the little plastic cover that covers it pulled to the side right there. And we got the magnetic, magnetic balancer bolt out. We took the belt off yesterday. And there's the bolt. Boy, it's a monster. <laughs> so, to pull this pulley off, you got to have metric bolts. And you got to have three of them. There's one. You got to have them washered out, two, and then three. And you got to go into this balancer, or, or actually, it might have balanced a remover. And you got to thread them into those. There's a hole there and a hole there and another hole up top. You can't even see it. So it's fun, fun, fun. Not, It's not fun at all. We've got to pull that balancer off. And once we get that balancer pulled off, then I believe there's another cover that covers the crank sensor. It has to come off, and you have to unplug the crank sensor in two bolts, swap it out, all go back in reverse manner. So we thought we'd, uh, you know, show you a little bit of what we got going on here today at the garage. Because <laughs> we're at it, so we need a jack stand, that's for sure. I've been keeping them in one spot. Let's see if any of them made them back to the spot that it's supposed to Yeah, there they are. Some of them, anyways, not all of them, but I like to keep all my jack stands in one area. That way, when you need a jack stand, you just go to that area. <clears throat> so we'll put this over here just in case. The Jack seal would blow out or something would happen and the thing would fall down and crush me. My boy don't come home and find dad up in the driveway with a car on top. I'd even be horrified, you know. Dad'd be dead. <laughs> Time anybody find me. My girlfriend maybe come out and but she probably wouldn't even know what to do to get the car off me. She'd be uh yeah, she'd be cut shy. So we'll put it underneath the uh subframe. <sighs> Now it's safe. Now if it falls, I hit that stand and I won't get crushed. <laughs> it's awful oily in there. Oh, um, yeah. We're going to eat some breakfast, guys. We just thought we'd come on here and show you uh, what we're doing. I took a socket. We're going to take a lot of tools. It looks like I got a lot of tools out, but I got a little extra. This is a uh, harmonic balancer and installer. Fancy one there. That we bought from AutoZone. I think so. Yeah, I believe we got that from AutoZone or something. Oh, we got that from Smythe. That's a Lyle. Yeah. That was bought from another parts store. It might have came from there. I don't know if we're going to use it to install the balancer. But I know we're going to use it, uh, the old harmonic balancer to remove it. So... I don't even think we can use that to remove it. There's no way that I can think of it won't attach to it. Because it's got those, uh, you got to have a flange. Uh, three flange. Well, this is, yeah, three flange. It's even though it's four. You got to have a three flange puller to uh, remove it. So, there you go. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, check out our friends, uh, Jamie Phillips. It's Actions Auto Parts, guys. Check out my friend. He's cool. He's out of Stanford, Kentucky. He needs your subscription. Please subscribe to him. Check out his channel. Hit the bell button. Like, comment. Tell him, hey, be here in Sun Garage sent me. Check out my friends and also my new buddy. Well, he's really he's not a new buddy, but he's my new YouTube buddy, uh, Jude Bostics. Uh, actually, Judd, I think it is. Judd Bostics. I keep saying Jude. <laughs> Judd Bostics. <coughs> Hot Rods and Horsepowers, guys. Check out my buddy. Hot Rods and Horsepowers. Actions, Auto Parts, J.B. Phillips. And as always... Scott's Beef Shop. Check out my three friends, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. My old Plymouth still ain't running.
<laughs> bye bye.